Nike Jordan brand Oak Hill Academy jacket with the very the words just don't come to me when I'm doing these videos uh, very standoutish jump man very big for a jacket I would think or maybe it's just normal and I'm just thinking that but it's that the jacket's nice and plain but that jump man stands out at you up there I've seen smaller let's put it like that that one he's I don't know it's about total length it's probably about an inch and a half from foot all the way up there anyways got your oak hill embroidered on this side and I was just thinking about this um, you know I told the story uh, uh, never mind um, thrift store pickup I fully think that this is uh, this came from you got a zipper right here um, this is okay this is uh this is team issued equipment right here um, yeah this one this isn't this isn't right here and something that nike made although they might they i think they have made some oak hill stuff i remember they made a carmelo anthony jersey that was probably sold you know like at the stores and at the mall and stuff like that but these right here i know for a fact this team issue not gonna get into why i'm not gonna argue with nobody about it uh these came to the school um size large and i don't know what that right there is i'm not sure exactly what that is somebody tell me it's like a snap so you can snap it together but i don't know what that's for but it's made in vietnam size large uh i've got the You know, you got so it's large down here. Maybe Vietnam, ninety-seven percent polyester, three percent spandex. And what I noticed about this jacket that's unique is, uh, I think they might have made this to, for. Uh, I say I know they made it for Oak Hill. It's got a hood, but it's not a very thick jacket. You would easily call this a windbreaker. But what's interesting about it, plain plain back black on the back. What's very interesting about this is, to me anyway, and I wonder if they made this and it was either maybe requested, and I might be wrong, but you got this part right here that comes out, and you can push it back up in and just have the jacket cuff like that, but this is to hold down keep the wind off of you and it looks like there's a thumb hole right there so you can have your fingers out but I think that's what that is I'm not positive to tell you the truth man um, but I was wondering and it, it's interesting to me that that's the case because yeah that's where your thumb would be um, that's very interesting to me because this is not a thick winter jacket but I wondered if it's the type of thing that you know, if you know where Oak Hill is, it's in the mountains of Virginia, right on the border close to North Carolina. Uh, and it gets very cold there in the wintertime. I mean, very, very cold. Uh, so, like when they're playing those games, man, it's amazing. Though. That's an amazing place. If you've never been, if you're a basketball fan, you've never been there. Um, things really ain't the same as it used to be. Because you know those Florida schools have you know taken over or whatever, but Oak Hill, man, it's a special place for basketball. Um, I think you know if you're a true basketball fan, I think everybody should make a trip there. You know, it just depends on what you're, you know, what you care about. If you don't care enough about high school basketball, I got nowhere. I've always liked, I think, college basketball the best. But I used to be a big time pro fan and. I really don't watch it. I enjoyed watching the Olympics this time. Um, I didn't at first, but when then Curry got in that zone in those last couple of games, I really enjoyed that. Um, but um, I got into where I still like college the best, but I've gotten to where I would almost rather watch high school basketball than pro as far as regular season games anyway. 
because it was kind of fun to see, you know. And when I went to Oak Hill a couple of times, I got to see the people, the likes of B.J. Stith, whose dad played for Virginia. Um, and I think he was his coach at, uh, was it OD, Old Dominion? I can't remember exactly which suit. Hampton, somewhere somewhere out there in Virginia. And I thought B.J. Stith was going to be better. But uh, also the uh, the twins that went to NC State and then transferred to Nevada, they were coming through there then. Um, I think they might have been friends with him. Gosh, what's the dude's name? The dude plays for the Miami Heat now, or he did a uh, year before last. I think he played, played with them this last year, but he was big. The one twin was very big uh, in the finals when Miami was playing somebody. Uh, they were playing Denver a uh, year before last. Um, and gosh, I can't remember those guys' names right now. That's, yeah, it's killing me, man. Uh, Troy Williams went to Indiana. Um, Big guy that went to Kansas has come through there. So many big time. Jerry, I mean, back in the day, I, I wasn't there at this time, but Jerry Stackhouse, obviously, I know all the Tar Heels that went there. Jerry Stackhouse, Jeff McGinnis, uh, Nate Britt, I went and saw him. Um, Carolina doesn't get too many guys from there anymore. Cole Anthony. Uh, but um, who was the other one that went to Carolina that I was thinking of just now? Ty Lawson. Um, but yeah, man, Oak Hill. Anyway, there's your Oak Hill Nike jacket. The locusts are out in full effect. You can probably hear them in the background. So probably about time for me to wrap up recording for today. Just wanted to show you this. I got a couple more of these left, a couple more Oak Hill items. I will try to get a video made of them. I think there's only a couple. Um, in fact, I think there might be one or two that's got Oak Hill on it like this. I had several pieces. And then I think I got a couple of Nike jackets that are super nice. They don't say Oak Hill, but they are Jordan brand Nike leather jackets that I will definitely try to get a video made of. Um, I'm talking about those are high end, high end. They're plain black, but what, I think they're made out of wool and leather, cowhide or something. So anyway, I'll try to get uh, videos of those. And this is this, is this Oak Hill jacket. It's, it's pretty nice. It's a windbreaker and it's listed for sale right now on eBay. If you want to message me about it, I can link you the, uh, the listing. 